In this brief tutorial, we'll look at Microsoft Project 2013 and how the network diagram can be used to identify your critical path. So I'm using a sample file that uh, we've used before in some classes. It's the Greendale Stadium project. Not too complicated, uh, not a whole lot of activities, but uh, one thing to check is to make sure all of your work activities are in, all of your durations are set, and that your predecessors are included correctly. If those are all in place, there's a couple ways that we can uh, identify the critical path. One is to go up here to the area that says new, add new column. If you flip down on that, there are many, many data elements that you can add to your Gantt chart. I'm going to type a C because I know that I want to uh, go to critical path and get to these faster. So there's critical. If you just click on that, it'll bring forward a yes or no. Now, be careful on this because the yeses also show for the summary activities and for the overall project. If an activity like Clear Stadium Site is part of demolition, then it'll be marked yes and demolition will be marked yes. And in many cases, we really only want to know the actual activity so we can communicate that Clear Stadium Site and drive support pile and pour lower concrete and so forth are the actual activities on the critical path. Another way to do this more visually is to click on your view tab at the top and then choose network diagram. Your critical path will appear as the pink activities. And again, these are the summary activities, so they'll also be pink if some activity within that um, chain is critical, but what we're really interested in in most cases are these. And if you hover over them with your mouse, you'll be able to see that it's clear stadium site and then go to the next one, uh, drive support pilings, and you can either use the ID number uh, or the description. Probably the description would give a better, a clearer picture of which activities. And if you follow those pink activities across, you will identify all your items on the critical path, just like we just, just did on the Gantt chart. Follow those across, and you'll have clear identification of all your critical path activities. So I hope that helps you on uh, tracking those down, and good luck.